Detective Lenny. Detective Lenny, she's on the case. No time to waste. She's the puppy dog private eye. Detective Lenny. Detective Lenny. Today started out as a normal day. I was out on a walk with Ma Pup and Ma'am. I stopped to take care of a little business at my favorite corner. And that's when my puppy instincts told me that something was wrong. My poo was gone. Vanished. Quicker than a piece of cheese that falls on the kitchen floor. Now I hung up my puppy detective hat a long time ago. But something about this just rubbed me the wrong way. Kind of like when mom brushes me after a puppy bath. I didn't have a choice. And so began the case of the missing poo. Detective Lenny. Detective Lenny. Let's review the facts. My poo, gone. Clues, none. Puppy dinner, delicious. Detective Lenny, very confused. I stepped outside to get some air. And that's when I ran into Ma Pup. Hey, that's a fun hat. Ma Pup. Did you notice anything strange on our walk this morning? Oh, uh, just the normal stuff. I got a leaf stuck in my tail fluff, but that happens a lot when we go on a walk. I'm not That's talking right. about leaves, Mar. What about the poo? The poo? Who took my poo? I don't know who took your poo, but you know what else? My purple blanket is gone too! First my poo, now my pup's blanket. How deep does this thing go? I needed answers, and there's only one person who might have them. Oh, you don't mean... Cheryl. Detective Lenny. Detective Lenny. Ah, here goes nothing. Cheryl the neighbor cat. It's Cheryl the neighbor cat. Sit on down, let's have a chat with Cheryl the neighbor cat. Look at you, Lenny. You going to a soiree? My poo disappeared from the yard at the end of the street at exactly 8.35 this morning. Do you know anything about that? Oh, I know that house. They cut down that big tree out front. Good thing, too, because it was right on those power lines. Safety first. You know, they still haven't ground that big stump, though. Cheryl, this is serious. I mean, I I know people get busy. It takes time to schedule things. I get it, but... You think after two months they get that ding-dang stump ground up? Can you believe? Cheryl, are you avoiding my question? Well, I know they can't be too busy. They always have those Jimmy Buffett parties. (laughs) Detective Lenny. Detective Lenny. I had hit a wall in the case of the missing poo. My puppy instincts suggest that Cheryl is our top suspect, but I had no evidence. The only thing I did know, my poo was gone, and with it, my last bit of hope. Oh no. Where did my poo go? What's a puppy dog sleuth to do? Oh, no. I can't find my poo. Oh no. on the mystery, huh? I've had enough of this case, Ma Pup. It's getting old, and I'm so cold. Well, look, Mom just brought out a bunch of warm laundry from the dryer, and our purple blanket's back. Oh, yeah, the blanket's back. Wait, what did you just say? The purple blanket's back. Oh, wait a minute. Vanished. Quicker than when a piece of cheese falls on the kitchen floor. My purple blanket is gone too. Can you believe? Lenny, are you okay? Ma Pup, you're a genius. Oh yeah, I'm a genius, Pup. Wait, I am? Yeah, you are. And I know what happened to my poo. Detective Lenny. Detective Lenny. I don't believe it. Believe it, Ma. It was Mom who's been taking our poo. She was right there at the scene of the crime. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. And I figured it out because of your blanket. Mom took the blanket. And and Mom Mom took took the the poo. poo. Mystery solved. Wow. So what's next for Detective Lenny? Special surveillance on the Amazon man? Or maybe figure out where Cheryl actually lives? In due time, Ma Pup. 
Detective Lenny will solve many mysteries in this neighborhood of ours. But tonight, I'm going to eat some puppy dinner and take a snooze. Detective Lenny. Detective Lenny. She's on the case. No time to waste. She's the puppy dog private. 